Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to use the idea of balanced moments to calculate either the size of a force or its distance from the pivot. You should then be able to use the idea of moments to explain why unbalanced objects may topple. And all of this is for triple physics students only. We've already seen that a moment is the turning effect of a force. We calculate the moment in newton meters by multiplying the force in newtons by the distance in meters. And remember that the distance must be perpendicular from the pivot to the line of action of the force. Now this video is all about balanced moments, so let's take a look at what that means. This shows a seesaw with a person sitting at either end. As you can see the seesaw is balanced about the pivot in the center. Each person is applying a moment due to their weight, in other words the force of gravity acting on their mass. The person on the right is applying a moment acting in the clockwise direction. We call this the clockwise moment. The person on the left is applying a moment in the anti-clockwise direction, and we call this the anti-clockwise moment. Now because the seesaw is balanced, we know that the clockwise moment must equal the anti-clockwise moment. In other words, the force multiplied by the distance in the clockwise direction equals the force multiplied by the distance in the anti-clockwise direction. We can use this to calculate either the force or the distance from the pivot. Let's look at the typical question. Person B is applying a force of 350 newtons and is 0.76 meters from the pivot. Person A is applying a force of 500 newtons. Calculate the distance that person A must sit from the pivot for the seesaw to be balanced. So because the seesaw is balanced, the clockwise moment and the anti-clockwise moment must be equal. We've now got all the information we need to calculate the clockwise moment. We've got a force of 350 newtons and a distance of 0.76 meters. This means that the clockwise moment equals 266 newton meters. We know the force applied by person A, which is 500 newtons. So to calculate person A's distance, we divide 266 newton meters by 500 newtons to give us a distance of 0.53 meters. Here's a question for you to try. A crane is used to lift a load, which is 30 meters from the pivot. The downward force applied by the load is 5,000 newtons. Calculate the downward force applied by the counterweight, which is 10 meters from the pivot. So pause the video now and try this question yourself. Okay, we can see that the moments are balanced. In other words, the clockwise moment due to the load equals the anti-clockwise moment due to the counterweight. We can calculate the clockwise moment by multiplying the force, which is 5,000 newtons, by the distance, which is 30 meters. This gives us a clockwise moment of 150,000 newton meters. Because the moments are balanced, we know that the anti-clockwise moment must also be 150,000 newton meters. We know that the distance from the pivot to the counterweight is 10 meters. We can calculate the force applied by the counterweight by dividing the anti-clockwise moment by 10 like this. This gives us a value of 15,000 newtons for the force applied by the counterweight. Now we can use the idea of moments to explain why certain objects topple. I'm showing you here a block on a flat surface. The weight of the block, in other words the force due to gravity, acts directly down from the centre of mass. I'm now going to tilt the block. There comes a point where the line of action of the weight lies outside the base of the object. Now there's a resultant or unbalanced moment acting on the block, causing the block to topple. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on balanced moments in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.